Great. Okay. Well, I think we can get started and I'm sure a few more people will be joining as we go. Um, I'm Sophie Hosking. I am a real estate program manager here at Really, and I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about um, buying and selling a home at the same time. Um, situation we see pretty often. A little bit about myself. I have been working with um, cash offers and trade-in programs um, in the Bay Area and beyond in the state of California for the past three years or so. Um, prior to really worked at a company called Fly Homes um, that's based in Seattle and here in the Bay Area. Prior to that was at Alon Pinnell, which is now with Compass. Um, and here at really I run our special programs team, mm -hmm. which includes the trade-in program that we're going to talk a little bit about today as well as our cash offer program. We've been doing both since about 2019. Um, and with that, we can get into it. So what we're gonna cover is um, some solutions for buying and selling at the same time. Um, there are a few options that, that you have now. Um, we'll also then talk about really trade-in, which is our solution to this situation. Um, and then we'll leave some time at the end for Q&A. Do feel free throughout this presentation to um, ask any questions in the Q&A with the Q&A button that you see at the bottom of your screen. Um, my colleague Mia, um, who is one of our trade-in specialists here in Northern California, is going to be available to answer any questions that you have. And then we'll also save time, like I said, at the end to answer anything that might take a little bit longer of an explanation um, or anything that comes up as we go. So how buying and selling typically works um, we'll, we'll cover first. The interesting thing about this is there are many, many people who are in the same boat as you. Um, we found that 61% of all sellers are actually looking to buy a property um, after or while they are selling their existing home. Um, this is anyone from people who are looking to upgrade to downsize um, and is a very common situation. Um, unfortunately, you'll see from this kind of sad statistic on the side here that more than a third of Americans cry when they're selling their home. Um, so clearly there's not a great solution for how you do this. Um, here at Really, we would like to decrease the number of crying Americans um, by providing a better solution to um, this very common problem of trying to buy and sell a home at the same time. Right now, there are kind of three main ways that you can buy and sell um, kind of simultaneously. So we'll go over three of those, those solutions right now. The first is um, you make an offer on your new home first, um, but that offer is contingent on the sale of the existing property. What that means is that you are making an offer to, to a seller saying, I wanna buy your home, but I need to wait until my existing property sells. Um, at which point I will be able to buy the new home from you. There are a couple of issues with this. Um, the first is it's tough to get an offer like this accepted. Um, the reason being it's very hard to line up the timing of listing, selling, and closing on your existing property with the purchase and close of a new home. And sellers and listing agents everywhere know that. Um, and they know that this is an inconvenient solution for them, which means your offer isn't as strong as someone else's that may also be offering on that property um, and, and could decrease your chance of getting your offer accepted. We know that contingencies create um, less strong offers, and this contingency is honestly one of the hardest ones to overcome. Um, it is possible to get an offer accepted, though what we do find is in those situations, um, the sellers are expecting more from you because you're asking a little bit more from them. Um, you're kind of giving them an inconvenient offer. And so often what they'll expect is a higher price in your offer or perhaps some other concessions that maybe you're not willing to do. Um, so this, this idea of a contingent offer on the sale of your old home is pretty tricky to get accepted and to get accepted at a good price. Uh, another option is you can list your existing home while you live there. Uh, what you would do in this situation is you'll put your old home on the market while you, while you live there. And when an offer comes in, you'd then negotiate with the buyer to give you a rent back. Basically what that means is you say, I'm going to accept your offer. We're going to close escrow. You'll own the house, but then I want to rent this house back from you so I can live here until I find a new property to move into or for a certain period of time that we both agree on. 
again, the tricky thing with that is um, any negotiation, you're both bringing different things to the table. Um, if you're asking for something like that from the buyers, they might want to change the price on the property that they maybe are offering. Um, or they might charge you more for a rent back because it's inconvenient for them, they wanna move in. These situations might come up in, in, in this kind of situation. The other issue is listing your home while you live there can be very inconvenient. Um, when, you're, when you're listing your property, you really want to get as many potential buyers into the home as possible so that you can expand the potential offers that you get on the property to make sure you're getting the highest price, creating competitive offer situations, really driving up the value of your home. If you live there, you're kind of minimizing the time that people can view the home. If you think about when you would want to go and look at a property, it's usually after work or on the weekends. Now, if you live in a home, that means you need to be ready to leave at the drop of a hat. So let's say, you know, it's it's six o'clock after work and you've just come home and you've started cooking dinner, you might get a call from an agent who has a client that wants to tour in a half an hour. Um, you kind of need to drop everything, make sure your house is spotless, get out as fast as you can to allow this person to, to enter into your home um, to take a look. A uh, kind of new development in, in this type of scenario that we've started to experience in the time of coronavirus is it means you're also letting strangers walk through your home. And when you're looking for a new house, you know, you go and you open every closet and touch every door and uh, try every drawer. Um, so you're gonna have people walking through your home kind of touching everything and you are gonna wanna need to sanitize that afterwards um, if you're willing to do that at all. So this piece um, of selling while you live there is possible, but again, very inconvenient um, and definitely minimizes the potential buyers for your home um, as opposed to a you know, vacant stage property where people can enter at any time. The final option that I'll talk about that is pretty common um, and probably the, the best of the three if I had to choose, um, which is to move twice. In this scenario, you're not negotiating with contingencies. You're not trying to get a rent back. Basically what you would do is you will list your existing property um, while you live there. You'll sell it and immediately move into a short-term rental. At that point, um, you'll start looking for your new home and you'll move into the new home once you find it and close on that property. So you're basically creating a little bit of a stopgap for yourself by finding a short-term rental home to live in until you find the new property that you're going to be moving into. Um, this option, you're, you still have the, the downside of living in a home while people are trying to tour. Um, you also have to move twice. And I know that moving is not on anyone's list of favorite things to do um, once, even, you know, so twice uh, is, is, is a, quite a pain um, and definitely not on not on the things you want to be doing. Um, it also can be a little bit more expensive. What we found is finding a short-term living situation tends to be uh, more expensive than finding a home to say to rent for a year or more. Um, so you're looking at additional cost there for home, uh, for your home payment, but also um, in terms of moving and that kind of thing. So, you know, we started to think about who, who is buying and selling a home now? There's a lot of different people who are in this situation. Perhaps you are looking to buy a new home. You have a, you know, maybe you purchased a, a property when you were newlyweds and now you are having children. You need to expand to a larger family home or maybe the exact opposite where you've been living in your family home for many, many years and now you want to downsize to something that's more manageable or maybe you wanna be closer to your grown children or grandchildren. And another sector of people who, who find this to be very difficult are those who are buying in new construction. So often new construction communities will not allow contingent offers at all. So in order to even get on a wait list or a reserve list or to put your name in for a lot in a new construction community, you need to have sold your existing property in order to do that. Um, none of these options that we just talked about before are optimal for any of these situations. So what we have done is created um, what we call the really trade-in program to help get through this buying and selling in a way that's much more seamless and as in inexpensive as possible. The way that we do this is we actually work with you to buy your new home first. Um, at a high level, the way that this works is really we'll actually work with you as your agent. You're gonna tour, find your new home first. When you do find the property of your dreams, really is going to 
put an offer on that property on your behalf. That's a cash offer that we're making um, and really buys that home for you. Once we buy the home, you move into your new property. Uh, we will then prepare, list, and sell your existing home. Once that sells, you get the proceeds and the cash out of it like you normally would. And then you buy the new home from really at that point, basically kind of reserving this new home while you live there until your old house sells. No contingencies, uh, no moving twice, kind of all of those inconveniences go away because you're immediately moving into your new home. Um, and one of the biggest benefits of this, other than the convenience and just not having to do those three kind of painful options we just talked about, is the offer that really makes on the new home on your behalf is a cash offer. And I cannot emphasize enough the benefits of having a cash offer on your purchase. Um, there are kind of two key pieces of a cash offer that make it very appealing to sellers and their agents. Um, the first is you're able to move very quickly and it's non-contingent. So what this allows you to do is one, stand out from a pack. Perhaps you want to, you're in a situation where there are multiple offers on a home. Having a cash offer allows you to close much more quickly than a financed offer. For example, we can close a cash offer in 10 days where now, especially because banks are a little bit slower with, with certain types of loans, a financed offer might not close escrow for 30 to 45 days. So you already have a huge leg up there. You don't need to have a financing contingency or an appraisal contingency. All of these things make your offer stand out from others in the crowd, helping you to win when you're competing against multiple offers. In fact, we have found that cash offers submitted at really are four times more likely to get accepted than a financed offer, significantly increasing your odds to win the house of your dreams. The other piece of this is um, because you have these other benefits to your offer, the ability to close quickly, the stronger guarantee of close, you actually have a little bit more room to negotiate on price. So what we found is we're able to talk about these other benefits of a cash offer and kind of direct the conversation a little bit away from price, helping our clients to get more of a discount or at least a better price from any other higher offers because they are cash. Um, so having this cash offer on the, on the purchase with a really trade-in is a huge benefit to you, other than all of these conveniences of not having to move or write contingent offers or things like that. So I'm going to move into a little bit more detail about how the trade-in program works. Um, the first step of trade-in is to get pre-approved with our in-house lending team at Really Loans. When you're doing that pre-approval, we look at your kind of financial picture as if you've already sold your existing home and have all of the equity in, out of it as cash. And we also look at it as if you only have one future home payment. So we're not qualifying you as if you have two home payments or you, don't, you haven't sold your existing property, which really opens, um, opens up a lot more possibility for you from a financial perspective, allows you to qualify for a higher amount. Um, once you have that pre-approval, you go shopping, uh, you get to go look for your new home first. Uh, when you do find a property that you're interested in uh, and wanna make an offer on, this is when really steps in and buys the new home with our cash and you move in. So you're moving directly into your new home as soon as we close escrow. Once you've moved in, really will now prepare and list your existing property. Once that sells, you get the proceeds out of it like you normally would and then you buy the new home back from really. So again, we're kind of helping you skip some steps, skip some contingencies and move, just move directly into the new property um, instead of waiting for an old house to sell um, before you can do that. Um, so we talked a little bit about the benefits of the cash offer on the purchase on that step one of trade-in. Uh, I wanna talk a little bit now about the benefits of selling with a trade-in. So the first is you're selling a vacant home. Um, and this is kind of the biggest piece, so we're gonna spend some time here. Uh, a vacant property, um, typically we see a vacant staged home gets anywhere from two to 3% higher offers than a property that is occupied. I honestly think that that will probably increase um, now that we're in a whole different world with, with the coronavirus, but for now it's definitely in the two to 3% range. Um, the reason for that is, a vacant stage property is easier to show. 
Um, and like I said, when you're listing a home, you want to get as many eyes as possible into that property. You want people to get there, feel it, see it, smell it, fall in love with it so that they are excited about making an offer. You want to generate as many offers as possible so that you can get the highest price for your home. A vacant property is much easier to show. It allows you to offer, you know, clients can visit anytime that they want. They don't have to work around your schedule. You don't have to have the inconvenience of working around theirs. Um, you also don't need to keep the home spotless. It will be spotless on its own. You won't live there anymore. You're going to live in your new house um, and you can do whatever you want there. This property will be cleaned and staged and will be shown in its best possible light to make sure you're getting the highest value from the home. Um, additionally, buyers walk in, they see a blank slate. If you're living in a home, uh, a buyer might walk in and see, you know, your grandma's beautiful armoire in your room and they'll remember, you know, the appliances you had on your kitchen counter or a striking, you know, piece of art you have in the hallway. They aren't putting themselves in that home. They're thinking about you living there. Um, and this is a big deal because what you want is you want buyers to walk into a property and immediately start picturing themselves in your home so that they get excited about it. They want to live there. They place their own furniture. They think about it as if they were living there um, so that they get excited and make an offer on the property and can really see the value um, of it. Um, and then additionally, like we kind of touched on, a big piece now because of the coronavirus is, um, you know, there was a while where you were, it was actually impossible to show owner occupied properties, meaning no buyers could go to a home that had an owner living there. It had to be vacant, which again, really decreases your chances of finding the right person if people can't tour your home. We've additionally seen, even as those restrictions have eased a little bit, um, a big shift in the behavior of buyers. People are worried about going to view a property that's owner occupied because they don't know, you know who's been there and what germs are there. Um, and so they're less likely to really go and look at a home if someone lives there. Additionally, safer for you to not be there. Um, like we talked about, buyers are coming in and they're touching everything. Uh, if you live in your new home from trade-in, you don't have to worry about any of that. It's a vacant property that, frankly, you never have to visit if you don't want to. Um, and so in, in the time of coronavirus, which you know, I think will, the habits from this will last for, for quite a while, um, having a vacant staged property makes showing a lot easier, a lot safer, and it really opens up the possibilities in terms of the number of buyers you can get into that, that home. Um, additionally, with trade and you only have to move once, you're moving directly into your new home. Uh, you can get settled in uh, and you don't need to worry about packing and unpacking and storage and, and all of that. Um, you just move right into your new property. Um, and then one thing we haven't talked about is home prep. So in the really trade in program, we actually include home prep as part of what we what really pays for. So we will pay to have your home cleaned, carpet cleaned, as well as staged. Um, and we also will project manage all of that for you. So once you move into your new home, you really don't have to worry about your listing at all. We're going to take care of scheduling vendors, of making sure that they are you know, cleaning everything, that the staging is happening, photography, so that your home looks the best it has ever looked without you lifting a finger. And again, this is all included, really pays for this. The reason we do that is with Trade-In, we are fully aligned with you, our clients, to get your old home sold as fast as possible for as much money as possible. And so we put some skin in the game to make sure that that happens. So, I wanted to give you guys some examples of some real life kind of customer stories, um, just to show you what, where, where trading can be applied in real life and, and kind of how this works. So we'll talk through two, two stories here. The first is um, a customer, Bill, who is actually currently working in, like in, in the trade-in process. He purchased his new home with trade-in about a month ago. Um, at that point, we started preparing and um, listing his existing property. Um, and of course, that is you know, kind of smack in the middle of all of the, the coronavirus shelter in place. Um, but because uh, his home was vacant, he was able to continue to show it through that, which means we were able to have many people walk through the property um, almost as if 
nothing had changed in the market. Um, and so now we are expecting actually to get a few offers for, his, for this property this week, um, where before we might not have been able to even show his home at all until restrictions were eased. So this was a huge win for Bill. Not only did he only get to have to move once, he um, was able to keep showing his house, keep marketing it, and keep finding a potential buyer to buy it from him this week. The next client that I'm gonna talk about is Mike. Um, Mike is a client who adopted two children. Um, and once they moved in and got kind of settled into his family, decided that he wanted to find a larger home for them to be able to, to grow up in, as well as to be in a better neighboring school district. So he used the trade-in program to buy a new bigger home um, and sell his existing property. This allowed him to avoid the need to you know, keep, a, keep his existing property spotless with two young boys at home, which would have been quite tricky. Um, I think they were in sixth and eighth grade, um, not, the, not the tidiest of years, we'll say. Um, so he was able to keep his home spotless because he didn't live there. He lived in the new home. Um, we were able to get a great price for his existing property. On the buy side, he was also able to line up his timing by choosing when to start looking and close on the new house so that the school year lined up appropriately for his kids to go into the right school district at the right time. So all of these different advantages that we've talked about through the Really Trade and Program are kind of outlined here. Um, and you'll notice that there are some other options of you know, how to facilitate buying and selling at the same time, some different companies that do this, but really is the only one who gives you this fast close with a cash offer on the purchase, is helping you to prep your existing property and do that with staging and cleaning, all for just the, the kind of traditional listing price that you would get with a traditional agent. You'll see here, obviously a traditional agent can't provide all of these services that a company like really can. So um, the requirements for trade-in are pretty simple. Um, at the highest level, you have to be buying and selling in California. Um, and you do need to have some amount of equity in your existing property in order to purchase the next home. Um, in a few slides, I'm gonna put up some contact information for our different agents in Northern California and Southern California. If you wanna talk more about your specific situation, see if you qualify, feel free to reach out to them anytime. And of course, if, um, you know, trade-in maybe isn't right for you or you want to explore other options. We do have um, a ton of different ways that we serve our customers. Our goal really is really to make home buying and selling um, smooth, simple, and stress-free. And so we do have um, agents throughout the state that are able to work with you in a variety of different ways. If for any reason trade-in isn't quite what you want to do, we do have other options that we can talk through with you at any time. Um, so this is the team. Uh, feel free to reach out to any of us at any time. Like I said, um, James handles all of our Southern California trade-ins and Mia, who's been on chat with us, um, is here in Northern California. So this will be available in the deck that we send around um, for you to, to reach out to any of us um, at any time. And we can talk about specific situations or answer any questions you have. But for now, I will open this up to our Q&A um, because I am sure that there are many questions um, that you all have about how this works and we can kind of dig into what that is. So let me pull that up. Um, one second here. Let's see. Sorry while I dig through these questions. And feel free to add as if I didn't cover anything or if you do have any questions about how trade-in works. Um, a few questions about where we are. Um, right now we can only do trade-in in California. So you need to be buying and selling in California. Um, let's see, there's a question about costs, um, which is a great question. I will answer that. So. Um, the trade-in program has kind of three main costs. The first is there's a 5% listing fee um, for the sale of your existing property. That uh, is basically the same as the traditional listing fee that you would get with a traditional agent. Two and a half percent of that goes to the buyer's agent and two and a half percent stays with Really um, as your listing agent. Out of that, we do cover some of those home prep costs that I talk, talked about. 
um, so you're not paying anything additional for that. We do charge a monthly rent for the new home. So when you move into the new property, there is a monthly rent. However, we recognize that in California, it is almost impossible for most people to afford you know, their existing mortgage on their old house and a new property payment on a new home. So while there is a monthly rent, we actually defer that until you have sold your old home, at which point it comes out of the proceeds of the sale of your existing home. So you're never paying uh, rent out of pocket or every month. It all just kind of comes um, at the end once you have all of the cash out of your old home. Um, and then the final step, uh, final fees are just the, the normal closing costs associated with buying and selling um, a property. So I hope that answers it. And like I said, you know, we're happy to kind of walk through the details of your specific situation. Um, we have a fee sheet that we can provide you based on, you know, where you would be buying and where you would be selling as well as the price points. So if you want to know specifically, you know, exactly what trade-in will cost you, feel free to reach out to any one of us and we can, um, we can give you that in great detail. Let's see. Um, so we talked about costs. Just kind of scrolling through here. Um, let's see here. I'm going to open Q&A and see what we have in there. Um, Priorities really to simply sell my home. Um, there's a bunch of questions about this uh, presentation, whether we'll be sending it around afterwards, and we will. Um, anyone who has registered will get a copy of this presentation to their email. Um, so feel free to, uh, to look at that. And then again, any questions that you have, we will um, be able to, to answer those now or after. Um, Let's see here. If you want to buy in California and sell or sell in California, buy in Florida, unfortunately, we can't do that at this time. Again, you have to be in California for both sides, the buy and the sell. Um, do we check your credit for the customer? Yes, as part of um, the, the trade-in program, we do require that you have a pre-approval from Really Loans. Part of that pre-approval process is the um, is that we do we do run your credit um, so we're looking at basically everything you would need to get a normal pre-approval done through any lender so there is a credit check as part of that the rent fee how is the rent determined great question the rent is calculated uh, basically we try and mimic a traditional mortgage when we calculate your rent um, so the rent is calculated as if you put uh, 20 percent down at a four percent interest rate for the full monthly payment so if you're using you know, any, any website out there to, to look for homes, um, they will all have a little calculator that says estimate my monthly payment. If you use that and type in 20% down at a 4% interest rate, that is exactly what your rent will be um, for the trade-in. Um, but again, basically it is designed to mimic a traditional mortgage. So it should be pretty close to what you would end up paying for your mortgage payment um, when you do buy the house back from us. Um, and again, we're happy to, to give you that exact number with our fee sheet um, afterwards if you want to reach out directly to us and give us a sense for how, um, what prices you're looking in and what areas and that kind of thing. Um, let's see. Uh, one question is, are the, what are the current program requirements due to the COVID epidemic? Um, so the, the qualifications uh, are based on your individual profile. So um, we do recommend that you reach out to one of our trade-in specialists to um, give them a sense for you know, what you are looking for and where and kind of what your, what your profile is. And they will be able to give you a pre-qualification before you go through the pre-approval process or anything like that. We'll talk upfront about whether you qualify for trade-in before you know, making you go through anything else. Um, to get started. So I would recommend if you're interested in trade-in, you have questions about your qualification to do, please reach out to, um, to one of us and we can give you that pre-qualification. Let's see, um, must we do the trade-in loan with Really? Great question. You do not need to do um, your trade-in loan with Really. So when you're buying the property from, uh, from Really on that final step of trade-in, 
You can use any lender you'd like. Um, we do require the pre-approval for Really Loans um, because we need to be comfortable with you know, your financial background and where you stand and get a really good sense for what is in your price range before we'll buy a property on your behalf. Um, but at the end of the day, when you're buying the home back from us, you can choose to use any lender that you'd like. Let's see. We talked about the rent fee. Some are in chat and some are in Q&A, so I'm looking. Um, why are we not in any other state? Right now, really, as a company is only in California, and so we can only do trade-in in, in California. Um, you can get this PowerPoint. We will be sending it to all of you um, as soon as we are done here. Um, let's see. So the overlap is in paying rent and your mortgage at the same time. So you're not going to be paying rent and your mortgage at the same time. You're going to be paying your rent. Um, the rent gets deferred. You're never going to be paying at the same time as your mortgage. There is never going to be a time when you pay really a monthly rent check. That rent all gets deferred until you sell your existing property um, and you get the proceeds out of that. So once you have all of the cash out of your existing property, that's when you pay your deferred rent at that time. Let's see. Let's see here. Will you be available in any state soon? Um, right now, we're only in California. We, we hope to expand at some point, but for right now, only in California. Um, is there a way that rent can be calculated on our website? Right now, we don't have a calculator available on our website. Um, but like I said, we are happy to just spin up a quick fee sheet for you. Um, so feel free to, to reach out to us anytime um, and we can, we can get that set up for you. Is the rent payment covered for property taxes? So the, the rent payment, like I said, is uh, calculated as if you were making a traditional mortgage payment. So it includes um, costs for your principal, your interest, your property taxes, and your home insurance. Everything is bundled into that. Um, so the time that you are living in the property that you don't own it, you are not going to receive a separate property tax bill or anything like that. Um, all, you're, all you're obligated for is the, the rent payment and that will become due once you sell your existing property. Great questions, everyone. Let's see, I think I've answered maybe everything. Does anyone else have anything else that I haven't covered or that you'd like me to clarify um, while you're here? Feel free to just type those directly into the chat or the Q&A and we can get anything answered before we end today. Um, is there a maximum timeline between the trade-in process? That's a great question. There, there is not a maximum timeline in the trade-in process. Um, what we do is we work with you upfront to do all of our diligence on your financial situation, which is done through the pre-approval process, as well as with your existing property. So um, before you'll start making offers, we will work with you to do a walkthrough of your existing home, talk about what we believe the, the correct listing price will be, and make sure that we believe we can sell your home within a 90 day period. Um, so we're doing all of our diligence upfront to make sure that we are putting you in a situation where your trade in process can get fully wrapped up within a 90 to 120 day timeframe. Um, if it goes longer than that, we simply continue on with the trade in process. But like I said, we are doing everything we can upfront to make sure that we're, we're doing this as fast as possible for you and that we're selling your home for as much as possible. Um, this question is, do you have to be an agent at really to use this program? No. Um, so the trading program is open to anyone who is looking to buy and sell in California. We will connect you with one of our really agents and they'll guide you through the whole process. Um, how is the value of my current home decided? Great question. Um, so we do, we do quite a bit of work to make sure that we are, uh, accurate in the pricing of, of your home. What we don't want to do is, you know, price your home really low and like, yes, will it sell fast? That's great, but 
we want to make sure that you are getting the, as, most, as much value for your home as possible. So what we do is we'll have one of our local agents walk through your existing home and uh, they will also run comps at the time, but we're looking at your property specifically. We wanna make sure we understand what the floor plan is like and what the neighborhood is, things that aren't necessarily captured in, in the MLS through just a set of comps. Um, so we'll, we'll look at that, we'll look at the property itself, we'll look at market data, and we have an in-house algorithm that we use to give us a range for what we believe your home will sell for. Um, we then will come back to you and talk through that um, based on, like I said, the comps, the market data, and your home specifically um, to give you a sense for what the value of your home is. Um, and then we'll both, if, if we both agree on that, then we move forward with trade-in um, to get you started on, on looking for new homes. Let's see. Uh, you only have one agent for all of Southern California. No, we have many agents in Southern California, many agents in Northern California. Um, Mia and James are our, part of our trade-in team. Um, they are specialists in trade-in and can help um, you specifically in Southern California. Depending on where you're looking, you'll get assigned a neighborhood specialist, um, one of our agents who, um, who are available in your specific area to buy or to sell your home. Um, we have, met, we have more than, more than one agent in Southern California, otherwise James would be a pretty busy guy. Um, ooh, another good question. If the value of the home appreciates after really buys it, do I pay the difference? No, so when you buy the home from really, uh, when you buy the home from really, you're paying the same price that really paid for it. So when we make the offer, you're kind of dictating all of the terms. You're gonna decide on the offer price, um, how long you want to close. Obviously, we're gonna provide you guidance as your agent, um, but at the end of the day, it's your decisions and we're just executing against them. So we buy the house at the price you want to make an offer. When you're buying, when you're buying the home from us, we sell it to you at the same price we paid. Um, and all of that gets handled upfront. You're signing a purchase agreement showing you know, you are going to buy this house back from us at the same time you paid at the same price you paid for it um, when it is time to purchase it back from us. So you are protected to make sure that you're paying the same price that we paid for your home. There's no difference. Um, let's see. A uh, question is staging included in the 5% list price. The answer to that is yes. Um, the home prep that we include is the full project management of your home prep, photography, cleaning, carpet cleaning, and staging are all included as part of the 5% listing fee. Let's see. Great questions, everyone. Anything else coming in? Lots of questions about buying and selling in and out of California. Unfortunately, right now we are California only. Um, question, are minor repairs included in the home prep? Um, right now the home prep includes cleaning, carpet cleaning, and staging. If there are minor repairs um, that need to be done, uh, those would be up to you to do. We are happy to project manage any of that. So if you need to have a handyman in the property, um, you would pay for the handyman, but we will help coordinate whether, you know, when they come in and when they do the work to make sure everything is moving in the right direction to get your property listed as quickly as possible. Um, one question is, does the house belong to me from the time really buys it? No. So when, um, on the first step, really is going to buy the property on your behalf. At that point, really goes on title and you are renting the home from us. Uh, once your old home sells and you have the cash that you need to buy the new home from really, at that point when you buy the new home from us, that's when you go on title for the home. Um, throughout that process though, we do have contracts in place that are uh, basically giving you the right to buy that house from really. So we are basically giving you a contract that says we're not going to sell it to anyone else or sell it at a different price. So although we are on title, you have the right to buy it from us at the same price as soon as your old house sells. Um, another question is, how do you generate profit for your business? Great question. 
Um, our, our revenue comes from um, the commissions. So the two and a half percent listing fee that you're paying to really is where, where our funds come from. Uh, what type of properties can be qualified as single, fam uh, single family house, multifamily house, condos? Good question. Um, I would say, you know, if you have specific questions about a property that you're interested in to see if it qualifies for trade-in, I would definitely reach out to one of our trade-in specialists. For the most part, uh, single family homes qualify, condos, um, multifamily homes, it will depend on the area. So again, you should reach out to your, um, your trade-in specialist, but definitely single family homes and condos are fine. Uh, one question is where in California are we located? Um, our headquarters is in Northern California in San Mateo, and we have agents throughout the state in Northern and Southern California. Um, are you allowed to do home improvements while renting the property? Um, right now you're not allowed to do, you know, any, any large improvements on the property while you, while you don't own it, so while really owns the home. Um, if you want to paint, that's fine, but, but doing things like floors or removing walls or any kind of remodeling will have to wait until you buy the home back from us. Um, like I said, we're working as, as best we can to make sure that the time that your old home is on the market is as minimized as possible. Um, so hopefully that time frame won't be, won't be too long. Let's see. Um, are you responsible for property taxes while you hold title? So um, whoever is on title is responsible for property taxes. So while really owns the house, we are. And when you own the house, you become responsible for property taxes. Um, all of that is also taken care of throughout the escrow process. Um, one question is on investment ranges or price ranges. Uh, right now we don't have a there's, there's no you know, limit or bottom on the, on the price of a trade-in you can do. So um, pretty much any price range is available for trade-in. Um, it does just have to be in an area in California that we have an agent. Great. Let's see, anything else? Awesome. Well, this has been great, everyone. If you have any more questions, I'll give us another minute or two. Um, and you know, if anything does come up afterwards, after you go through this again, like I said, reach out anytime. We're all very happy to talk about trade-in. Anytime, any day, um, we're available. So feel free to reach out. Oh, this is a great question. We'll, we'll end with this one. Um, if selling a, if uh, your old house doesn't sell, what happens? Um, so like I said, we, uh, we do all of our diligence upfront to make sure that we believe with high confidence that we can sell your existing property for the highest possible price. Um, and the way that we do that is through a listing approval process wherein we're going to visit your existing property. We're looking at comps in your neighborhood and we are um, doing a market analysis of the, of the area where you're selling the property to make sure that we are all in line with what we believe the property will sell for. Um, if we have the correct listing price and we're working with a home that is, you know, in an area that, uh, that has properties that sell in usually less than 120 days, um, we're staging the home, we're doing uh, all of that prep work on the property to make sure we're presenting your home in the best light. So we're doing all of this to make sure that your house does sell. Um, the time in which you that, that property is on the market, you're living in your new house. Um, and so you'll live there until the old house does sell and will then purchase the new home back from really at that point. Again, we, we're aligned with, with your goals. We wanna make sure that you can complete the trade-in 
and that you're getting as much as possible for the existing property um, and that it's selling as quickly as possible. So we do have a, a listing approval process to make sure that we believe we can sell your home within a 90 day time frame. If your house doesn't qualify, then unfortunately we wouldn't be able to move forward with trade in, but we do that all up front to make sure that when you get into this process, we're very confident that your home will sell and you'll be able to complete the trade in um, as quickly as possible. Um, how does this work for new builds? Because they are not typically ready for a few months. Um, great question. So uh, in any new construction, the, the trade-in process begins when the home is complete. So we'll work with you. We can make an offer on the new construction. Um, we can't close escrow until the home is completed, which means really doesn't own the property. You can't move in until that house completes. Once it completes, then we kind of start the trade-in process from there. Um, so as soon as you move into the new home, that's when um, we start listing your existing property and the process really starts. So basically we're reserving that home for you until it is available to be moved into. If the home doesn't sell after 90 days, do you just continue your trade-in process? Um, so you'll be living in the new home. We continue to sell your existing property. We don't have a cap on the number of days that, um, that you're required to sell your existing property in. We don't require that you sell your old house at a under market value price or anything like that. You, you sell your home for what you believe it's, what, what, you accept the offer on your existing property for whatever, whichever offer you, you choose, um, that's up to you. And the trade-in process just continues until you're able to buy the new home from us. Okay. Great. All right, everyone. Well, thank you so much for all of your questions. And um, we really appreciate you being here with us for your lunchtime today. Uh, if you do have any additional questions or you wanna dig in deeper or get any um, fees specifically or, or learn more about your specific situation, how it would apply in trade-in, feel free to reach out to us anytime. And uh, we hope to talk to you soon. Thank you all so much.